Tommy Suchek, has he signed a deal? Or will he be sold in the summer? Roll the titles. Now, it's all a bit confusing when it comes to Tommy Suchek, isn't it? Because you've got people close to the club that reported and have been reporting for several months that Tommy Suchek signed a four-year contract extension back in the summer to stay at West Ham long-term. But West Ham haven't officially announced that news yet to the fan base. So we can only be led by sometimes some of the ITKs that are announcing this. Now, Tommy Suchek who celebrated scoring the winner the other night for the Czech Republic um, in their 1-0 win over the Faroe Islands in the Europa, or sorry, not the Europa, the Euro 2 2024 qualifiers. But there's a lot of kind of confusion and what some people are calling inaccuracies about Tommy Suchek's future at West Ham. He's just scored his 10th goal, international goal, um, and... There's loads of rumours kicking around that he could be leaving West Ham, not just in the summer, but in January. Now, his contract at West Ham is actually up at the end of this season. So June the 30th, 2024. That's when you look it up and you research it, that's what's being said. But the club and sources close to the club are stating that he has signed a four-year contract. So for me, it's just a bit confusing. Why don't you announce it to the world that he is part and parcel of the package? Now, Tommy Suchek's been an influential player for West Ham, whether people like it or not. He's played 165 times for the club, scoring 26 goals and nine assists for a defensive midfield. That is a phenomenal return for your investment. And I think that when he was playing but out where fans thought he should have been out of favour. I think he went under the radar and probably got given a lot of jip by a lot of fans, also me included. But in actual fact, last season, he was probably influential as to why some of the players played better than others, and he was probably the punching bag, really. That's the only way I can describe it. Sometimes you've just got a player that's effective, but under the radar effective. Now, I'm not saying I was massively impressed by Tommy Suchek last season because I really, really wasn't. I just saw some little glimpses of, of, of positivity and a style of play and what he was capable of doing in a game. And I feel like Rice and Paqueta really relied heavily on what he was bringing to the game. But that, in a nutshell, and looking in from the outside and, and watching the game, you know, looking over the shell, it's it's not pretty and it wasn't nice. And um, you felt like that would always affect us in the season, Tommy Suchek's form. And, and, and him being selected week in and week out was definitely going to affect us as well. Now, West Ham are working hard, obviously, to try to tie down some of these players that have got contracts up in the summer. Um, we've done a little bit of business already in terms of that, but the biggest one so far is bringing Jared Bowen and keeping him at the club and, and signing a long-term contract for West Ham, um, a, a seven-year deal. I mean, a, a great bit of business by West Ham. Tommy Suchek, this season for West Ham is a bit of a resurgence. He spoke out and he said that he didn't feel himself last year, but this year he feels like he's maybe back to his best. He's played seven Premier League games, scored two goals with one assist. He's played two Europa League games, scored one goal as well. He's scoring goals international level. And I wonder if he's the next player that the club will commit to the future of being at the club. But it's very, very confusing. And I feel like the fan base need to know 100%. Now, this is where I have to tread carefully because... I'm not necessarily saying that the sources close to the club are not correct. Um, they're only repeating what they're told. But we, as we have learned, can only judge what's put to us from the official messages coming out from the club, and we haven't had that yet. Now, we're hearing other reports stating that other clubs are sniffing around Tommy Suchek. Inter Milan is one of those teams. Uh, and he, he's a really... If you watch any Italian football, he is exactly the kind of player that an Italian team needs. Someone that can 
do all the dirty work, but go under the radar and 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 chip in with the odd goal here, there, and everywhere. Um, but I feel like we know David Moyes loves Tommy Suchek, and Tommy Suchek has been really vital as to West Ham's transformation into a club that's progressed from being a relegation battle regularly to qualifying for Europe and winning a European tournament, albeit we didn't have a fantastic year in the Premier League. Um, talks from what we understand did break down earlier in the season for the contract extension, but the rumour was that he was expecting more than what was offered. Now, where do we go from here? I, I don't know because the problem, again, like I said, you've got is that you're hearing reports close to the club saying he signed the dotted line, but then you're hearing loads of mainstream media saying that other clubs are interested and West Ham have to protect their asset. Now, the other issue we've got is the contract expires on June of 2024. If he doesn't sign the contract, we've got January coming around the corner. And what's Tim Stiden working on behind the scenes? Because let me get this right. Like Tim Stiden is doing his business behind the scenes right now. We're working on a bit of business and we will need to know or they will know, and they, of course, will know, but, and if they don't know, why do they not know that he's signed that dotted line? Or if he hasn't signed the dotted line, then there is a concern because we're going into the January window and maybe he's keeping his options open. He's 28. I'll be 29 his next birthday in February. And yeah, he's won a bit of silverware at West Ham. He's won silverware in Prague as well when he played for Slavia Prague. But maybe he sees another opportunity elsewhere. Maybe he does. Will he be sold? Or have West Ham going to sign him up for a for a new deal? We've he's been at the club since the you know the latter part of 2019-20 season, and um, he's become a, a regular in 165 appearances through all competitions and for the club. And for me, I think he's a core player. He's a core player. Eventually, we will probably see him transition into passing that kind of you know batting on to another player who can take over that position. But for now, he's vital to the team. And you can see what David Moyes and how David Moyes is using him. And you can see how the other players flourish off. And you can see when you've got the defensive-minded player like Edson Alvarez that you allow Tommy Suchek to get further forward and, and chip in with a goal. Um, and right now, he's being effective in that role. So it's, it, it's mad because David Sullivan apparently has confirmed that he signed a four-year deal back in the summer and back in August apparently we heard that but no one's actually came out and said it and I think it's time if he has that they do announcements and let us know that that, that, that he has signed on the dotted line but for me personally his current deal that we're aware of runs out in the summer and we need to resolve this situation sooner rather than later and um, we're going to have a few more players in the same situation we can talk about that in another video in another day but for me Tommy Suchek's important I'm intrigued to hear your opinion. Put it in the comments and let me know. Do you rate him? Do you not? Do you think it's time to sell? Do you think it's not? And if you were to sell six months left in this contract, what are you going to get? I mean, what do you value Tommy Suchek as? Um, and also, is there enough money in his you know, contract, really, from another team to buy him out and West Ham sell halfway through the season? The one thing I don't think West Ham will do is, is unless it's a ridiculous offer, I don't think we would accept a, a stupid offer on the other side of it. It would have to be something that you, you cannot refuse. Um, but Tommy Suchek playing a little bit higher up the field is an effective Tommy Suchek. And I still, I'm not living on the past because we'll start to see the best of Tommy Suchek again. And really, I, I, I think he struggled a little bit last year. But again, I think us as fans watching him and the natural fact not being on the park and being on the grass and being in the team and the starting of living, I feel like when you play, you see more, they see more of what he's capable of doing. And I wonder if we focused, you know, if you rewatched the game and you watched what he does in a game, how effective he actually is. I don't know. It's an interesting one. Will, he, will West Ham sell him or has he signed a contract? Who knows? Who actually knows until that information has been passed out to the West Ham through the official channels. Anyway, put in your comments and let me know Tommy Suchek's situation. Do you rate him? Do you not? If you don't, would you sell him? When would you sell him? Would you let him go for a free in the summer? 
we're not really protecting an asset there. How much would you value him at? If we have signed him on a four-year contract, are you happy? Do let me know. If you're new around here, hit that cheeky subscribe button. Help us out. Get us on the march towards 30,000 subscribers. Yes, we are on the way there. Um, if you're interested in becoming a channel member, hit the option to join. Hit the thumbs up. Join us later on for the Hammers headlines. Loads of cool content coming your way. Make sure you keep an eye out on it all. Take it easy. And of course, come on, you irons.